Hey folks, Nicholas Field here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do parallel compression. So parallel compression, otherwise known as New York style compression, is simply a technique where a compressed signal is blended with a dry signal um, to whatever percentage you feel sounds good. Generally it's around 50%. So this means you have a parallel signal being processed with the original, okay? and that sort of applies to any sort of parallel processing terminology that you'd encounter in mixing. Um, let's look at Ableton here and see how to do this. So I've already stacked together some random drum loops. And just a quick note, a lot of drum loops are already very compressed, so you might not want to do this um, with drum loops, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you so we can roll with it and you can learn how to do it. Um, the next thing you do is right click and go insert return track, and this will populate a return track over here on the right, and then you simply add in any compressor that you want in that return. I've already created a return over here and put in the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. So, as you can see, I have it set to a pretty aggressive threshold and pretty aggressive gain and threshold over here as well. Now, simply play the source material and blend in the compressed signal. And the key with uh, with parallel compression is really like oftentimes really slamming a compressor and then that way you can add it in more subtly later. So you get the uh, psychoacoustic effect of heavily compressed signal, but you also get the nice natural sounding drums um, both going at once, right? So this is without the compressor. And this is with. And as you can see, you can of course um, vary the amounts of compression on different signals. So if you really want some heavily compressed uh, overheads or some really compressed um, toms, you could apl apply more by just engaging more of that uh, wet send, okay? Now, that's it for parallel compression. Um, if this video has been helpful to you, please do me a favor and like this video or subscribe. I'm always creating tutorial videos, uh, demos, and content relating to audio engineering and mixing more generally. So thank you very much.